Okay, we have an unboxing. I am gonna mark this as a sponsored video. I'm not sure if I have to or not, but we're going to anyway because this company sent me some free paint pens. And if you use one of the links below in my video description, I do get a very small commission on sales to be perfectly open and honest. So I'm thinking that counts as sponsored video. If you don't want to watch that because of that, that's fine. I, I get it. Skip to the next video. Anyway, I think these pens are a really good deal. They're affordable. They seem to work well. Um, I am going to skip here to the unboxing. I did mess up some of the film clips, so we're doing it again. Anyway, so here's the unboxing and unwrapping and initial trial tests with the pens. All 30 of them. I was only expecting like one or two. Guys, I was only expecting one package from RDQ. There's two packages here. I think they're both from them. I don't mind showing you my address because that's my P.O. box. Anyway, I don't, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out when we get home. We'll do an unboxing. I'll be back. So let's do the big one first. Because, why not? I don't know what they sent me. I really, really don't. RDQ metallic outline markers. Okay. So they did send me markers, but then what's in this one? What is that? Wow, 15 pack of paint pens, medium tip, oil-based. I think they're both oil-based. Maybe, let's see, does it say? Um, it says flammable, so I'm guessing yes. Harmful if swallowed. Why would you swallow a paint pen? All right. Anyway, let's open them up and I'll see if I can prime them, get the colors tested. Um, they do show them um, being used on rocks, which is one of the reasons I said yes to them because I do paint rocks and leave them around the neighborhood for people to find. And um, finding paint and or pens that work on the rocks is always a challenge. And if these work on the rocks, and I can paint them and then because they're oil-based don't have to seal them, that would be fabulous. So let me get them open and we'll see what we've got.
Okay, here are the swatches of the paint pens. Um, they do send a really great tip card in with the pens. Um, I did find it in the larger pack of 15 paint pens. The smaller box did not have one in it, but it does have tips on the back of it. The, they both have tips on the back of the box, which is what, wonderful because most of the time you buy these pens, they don't have that. Um, it has um, tips on how to get the paint, the pen started um, and all of that. And then um, ways you can share your artwork that you create with their pens online with them. Um, <clears throat> some of the colors are very similar. For instance, these two blues are these two blues. There's not a lot of difference between the two colors. These two purples, or these two purples, um, I would prefer a bigger difference in the colors than what I'm getting, but that being said, I they do seem like really great quality pens. They dry down pretty quickly. Some of the metallic pens over here on this end seem to have a lot more metallic than others. I don't know if that's just because I didn't shake them up enough. They might, I think they probably need a little bit more shaking. but I won't swear to that because that still doesn't look very metallic. Um, and some of them like, was it the red one that looked purple? Let's see. Nope. Maybe the blue one. Nope. I don't know. One of them was supposed to be at one color and it turned out to be very purple. Oop. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. So it's purple with a gold. Um, that looks like a blue cap. So to me, that's supposed to be blue. Does it have a color name on it? That's probably a good thing for me to look for. And I'm just noticing it has the tips on how to get the paint pens started um, on, the, on the wrapper. Great. It doesn't have a color name. Color names would be great. Anyway, so I am pretty pleased um, next, we're going to try painting a couple of rocks. So let's see how that goes. This is um, pages from one of my old moleskins. And um, I, when I'm done for the month, I take that blank pages out of the back. Um, these are oil-based paint pens. So if you don't have thick paper, they're going to bleed right through. Um, so just be aware of that. All right. Let's paint a rock. <music>
anyway, I think these pens work really well. I, th I think they're really great for painting on the rocks. They seem to work really well. They dry down fairly quickly. I just did these and it's dry already. Um, they have a nice little bit of a shine to them, which I appreciate. They're also water resistant. They're, they're great for this kind of project, but we are mixed media artists. You could also use them in your journals and other painting projects, uh, maybe on some of your fabrics if you're doing a slow stitch project, but you need to do a little bit of highlight in white or black or another color. Um, these would probably work really well. Um, I have a couple links down below in the video description. Again, full disclaimer, I do get a little bit of a commission if you use said links and you buy the pens. That being said, after a little bit of research, these oil-based paint pens, um, similar to Shar Sharpie's oil-based paint pens, they're less than half price of the Sharpie ones. Like you guys, these are a good deal, I think. Um, I love a good paint pen, but I do have a love-hate relationship with paint pens. Um, especially for the price. I just feel like most of them should work better than they do. For these, I don't have that complaint. For the, for the price, they work really great. Um, the metallic ones are $17.99, I believe, and the bigger medium tips are $15.99. I think that's how that works, um, or something like that. Anyway, um, we painted a bunch of rocks I had them, they needed painting. Of course, it is the middle of October, so I did Halloween theme, because why not? I might put a little bit more yellow on this one. Oh, it is dry, maybe we'll do that now. Vamp you gotta do vampire teeth. If you're gonna do Halloween rocks, you gotta do vampire teeth and candy corn, because of course you do. So anyway, I really love them. I don't know what you all think, but check them out down below and maybe if you need to add paint pens to your stash or you're interested in painting rocks or something like that, maybe this is the way to go. All right, that's it for right now. Check out that video description for relevant links. Besides this one, there's a lot of stuff down there, including my happy mail address. Um, if you have questions or comments, concerns, leave them down there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.